What is this that stands before me? No, it's not Jason Voorhees. Look at those earlobes. You know damn well who that is. He's got a tattoo on the side of the skull. That is the metal god himself. That is Rob Halford. And this guy right here, that's Tony Iommi, says, Hey, you got to give it a go. You all give it a go. That's what he likes to say. You all give it a go. We're here to check out the time that Rob Halford uh, was with Black Sabbath. Remember that? He's played, I think, three shows. In 1992, he played two shows because Ronnie James Dio refused to open for Ozzy with Black Sabbath. This is from 2004, the OzFest. Ozzy Osbourne has come down ill. And he's, Tony Iommi says, hey, you got to give it a go. You're the only man for the... The metal god is the only one to do for us. We've got to get out there and rock and Ozzy is under the weather. And you've got to give it a go. Now, Rob Halford says this is the most evil song in the world. They're about to do Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. Says it is the most evil song in the world. And as we hit the button on this... I think he turns around and tells the audience, this is the most evil song. What exactly happened? Before we get into this video, what exactly happened with all of that? I'll read it for you really quick. Fans attended the OzFest show at the Tweet Tweeter Center at the Waterfront in Camden, New Jersey on August 26th, 2004. Had a shock when Judas Priest vocalist Rob Halford filled in for, for a bronchitis-stricken Ozzy Osbourne during the Black Sabbath headline set. Halford had sung with Black Sabbath before at the final two shows of the Ozzy Osbourne's No More Tours tour. Remember that? No More Tours tour? At the Costa Mesa Amphitheater in California, November 1992, after the group's then singer, Ronnie James Dio, famously refused to open for the man he'd originally replaced in Sabbath in 1979 and then quit. He was quoted as saying, could have been a dream. No, he says, uh, I was told in the middle of the tour that we would be opening for Ozzy in Los Angeles, and Dio said, and I said, no, sorry, I have more pride than that. Here he is. It is 2004. We're, we're in our time machine. We're heading back. I'm going to hit the button. I do stop. I do start. Okay, so don't, don't, don't get them, don't freak out too hard, okay? He's going to spin around, and he's going to say this is the most evil song in the world. Uh, I am going to put the full link to this, because this is the entire concert on Rodrigo Maya's uh, channel here. So I'll put the link to this entire show, because there's even some kind of graphic work that comes along with it. So let's go. Let's do it. Look at him, Rob Halford. He's got his little mustache and beard. the most evil song ever written. Black Salad. What is that little blue jay, mocking jay? Is he into the is he into that Hunger Games? Is that what he's got there tattooed on the side of his head? Oh, they even got the rain and everything, the rain and lightning and all. Let's turn this down a little bit just in case. Margaret, is that the door? I think DoorDash is here. They're really going balls deep in this thing with the rain and the lightning and all of it. But they're the headliners of OzFest, yeah? Oh my good gravy. That makes for the greatest Black Sabbath concerts, isn't it? Where have I seen that picture before? I feel dumb. I know it's Sabbath E. Where's he coming? Peekaboo Street, get in there. I want to see it. There he is. It's like the the witch's crystal ball in uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, he's a, he's a Chargers fan, too. He's got a... What is this that stands before me? Oh, 
My God. What are you doing, Rob? Guys, is that sound good or no? Sign around quick and start to run. I mean, it's just the last bit says so like He knows what he's doing. I think this was like a last minute thing too, right? Daddy Ayami, his little nubbins. He says, I'm gonna have it a go with me little nubbins. Is this the man that created heavy metal? I'll tell you right now, when you hear that son of a bitch on the on the album, you never heard nothing heavier than that, have you? Some people argue, oh yeah, Led Zeppelin, whole lot of love, or something like that. But I mean, when you hear that, don't you just say that's fucking heavy metal? I got to Yeah, he's a Chargers fan. Big black shape with eyes of fire. Okay. He's got the rotor toms. Selling people that desire. They're trying to help him out. That old dad. Satan sitting there. He's smiling. <laughs> Not laughing, smiling. Watch those flames. I could, if I was, if I was Rob, I, I couldn't help hitting that higher register and really put some stank on it. And then you throw the microphone back to Ozzy with bronchitis and go, there you go, bud. Good luck. Imagine listening to this for the very first time. You've been listening to your Yardbirds records, you've been listening to your... And you put this on. They say, David's in there worshiping the dad, damn devil. Well, what's he listening to? Black Sabbath. Oh, are you... T Wait a minute. Black Sabbath and not a white Sabbath? Kid, get him out here. What? Oh boy, oh boy, oh, did we get an offbeat there? I feel like I okay. There's our geisha.
You look at those goddamn fingers right there and tell me that isn't a sweet little run that he's doing there. This guy had his fingertips cut off, made little rubber nubbins for him, and he got right back to it. This man has been playing the guitar for 70 years with little nubbins. That's very impressive because you, you know what it's like when you can't touch what you're actually touching. You don't know how hard you're pushing that string. You don't know what you're doing because you don't have the tips, the feelers, the nerves in there. And this man's been doing it for 50 years. Cross gets bigger and bigger on him. So that's the whole band. Is that that same old guitar? Is that that same old guitar that he had in those old time black and white videos? God damn. I just realized he's left handed too. It's like Jimi Hendrix. Look at them little teeny little nubbins right there and you tell me that he isn't shredding the shit out of that right now. Yeah, that's crazy. I think, uh, I think Rob was saying that after uh, he wanted to join Heaven and Hell too, when Ronnie was gone. Thought I read something like that. You can see smoke coming off them. He smells rubber burning. If he's playing that same old damn guitar, I wonder if he's got the same old little nubbins on there. He's probably got he's probably got this perfectly, you know, like uh, 3D printed kind of shit where he's like created some and then he has them mass produced, not for sale, although you know people would buy them. Um, but uh, I'll bet you like so they fit perfectly each new pair that he puts on. He's like, oh, I can I can I can give it a go. I'll give this guitar a go with me new nubbins. I can I can do it right now. I could just, I could shred something up right now. Here we go. No more singing for Robert. Let's get it right back to that. I want to see, uh, I want to see Robert in that little circle. Mira, Mira on the wall. Who's the metal goddess of them all? That's right, it's me, it's Rob Halford. And I've done a nice thing here and I've filled in for Ozzy Osbourne backstage he's having a bit of a cough and that's what I'm up to that's what I'm doing right now what say you yes um that was that wasn't too shabby I hadn't seen that before uh, I'd be curious about your input your interesting fun nuggets about this tidbits of information that maybe I got wrong or I got right or something you know I do I do wouldn't mind a little pat on the back if you don't mind get down there and tell me what you think of those times were you there Ozfest 2004 August 26th Tell me about it. Mm. 
What is this? It's Robert Halford.